how would you like to have the 80 honey farm remembered and used in the future um, from your perspective? What is it that you, what would you like to have uh, people talk about when it comes to the 80 honey, honey farm today and in the future? Well, we've all, all of us have been to the 80 honey farm in Tucson and Modern Development. And we've all been involved heavily in research. And we've uh, gone down to Washington, made sure that we've got about five bee labs, made sure every year they're funded. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh. So we've all been heavily involved in research and trying to develop and promote good beekeeping. And, good. and so I, I mm -hmm. think that's the main thing. And, mm -hmm. and I think people really appreciate that. You know, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. We've been so heavily involved in the that. longevity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think from a business point of view, I think it just um, it comes down to the integrity that I started the business with and that we try to carry through in all of our business dealings. And my brother Brett out in California would uh, love the day when we could still do business with a handshake. And fortunately, that doesn't happen a lot anymore, but we want to stand by our word and, and honor that. And I think that's also something that we'd like 80 to always be known for. Is that pretty hard to do? I mean, not 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 the character of it, but to have that resonate with others in in the work. I mean, yeah, it is most of the people we work with now, we can pretty much do, do that on a handshake. But yeah. Sometimes you know they have to go to their banker to get money. They want a banker wants to see a contract. And, yeah. But most of the people we work with, uh, you know, we've been working with them so long. long that, that, yeah. Yeah. Long established relationships yeah. here, and you know, we've been doing the pollination yeah. um, side of business for, for a long time as well, and so we've established relationships in that department also. So, but I think we always want to make sure that we have that integrity that goes behind the name that Brad, Brad started. Yeah. May I ask a little bit about where, the, where you sell the honey to? I mean, you don't have to name the names of sure. the companies, but just where does the honey go? Or like, how, how would I know that I was? Well, eating I mean, 80 honey, yeah, I mean, you probably wouldn't. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I we, know we, when I get it yeah, here, yeah. but we sell a lot of honey. Is it Barkman Honey Company now? Yes. And they went yeah. back to their old name. Yes, Golden and Heritage. Here, go, well, it was Golden Heritage. Now it's Barkman <clears> in uh, Kansas, Field Grill, Kansas, buy an awful lot of honey from us. But then, uh, then they got smaller packets all around the country to buy from us. Hmm. But our biggest buyer is uh, Barkman Honey Company. And, and we make no bones about that because they buy from other guys too, you know. And, and uh, beekeepers are pretty much shut that information who's buying who is oh, what, and what they're paying and all oh, that, okay. you know. It's, that's pretty common. Beekeepers common are kind of well, a range. Not, yeah. Usually they give a range, and not, yeah. not yeah. real specific, not exactly. but you know, yeah, it's still a competition. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we're in the market for profit. Yeah. Well, we may get three or four cents above the market. But now that part we do, do kind of keep quiet. <laughs> yeah, well, you deserve to be compensated for all the years and the hard work you do. Yeah, and I then mean, the, the volume too. You know, it, yeah. it does create yeah. a little bit more of an ease for them coming in and picking up from a large yeah, volume they, warehouse. Yeah, they can pick up a million pounds, oh, buy sure. a million pounds or two million pounds. Oh, okay. Money, and that gives them a couple the of volume. Too. Yeah. Okay. Jan, did we from your work with this um, youth, did we not ask something? Um, mm -hmm.